One of the most fundamental processes that occurs in cells is the process of protein synthesis. And protein synthesis requires a multitude of factors and occurs in different steps. Uh, one of the major molecules that enable cells to help in the synthesis of proteins are these molecular machines called ribosomes. And these ribosomes actually sit on uh, molecules called messenger mRNAs and help to translate the genetic code on these messenger mRNAs into functional amino acids that then uh, link up together to form peptides and then that fold to form proteins. Um, now, in certain cases, protein synthesis can go awry. Um, this can be uh, cases like when you have certain diseases or when there are certain stresses that are impressed upon cells or when you get infected with certain types of pathogens. And in some special cases, you have ribosomes uh, that are sitting along the length of an mRNA, right? And these ribosomes are moving along the length of an mRNA at the same speed. But when there is a perturbation uh, to the protein synthesis machinery, sometimes one of these ribosomes tends to slow down whereas the other, other ribosomes still move at the same speed. And this uh, uh, causes a condition wherein you get ribosome collisions. A perfect analogy would be if you have two cars flying on the same freeway at the same speed, then you're perfect, you're golden, both cars reach the same destination perfectly. But for some reason, the car in front of you starts to slow down a little bit, right? And the car behind you does not. Then you get what is called a collision. And then there's an SOS signal that is sent out, like a 911 call. And this is exactly what we think is happening also inside cells. And what we have discovered is that there is this bacterium called Legionella pneumophila that infects cells. And intracellularly, it secretes a particular toxin called SIDI. This is the 3D printed model of SIDI. Um, as you can see, it's a really interesting and complex molecule. So it has three domains and each domain is colored with a different color. And we've discovered that it has two functions. So first of all, um, here are the top two domains, the one colored in gold and the one colored in blue together forms an enzymatic domain. So it actually binds a molecule of GDP mannose and then transfers that mannose to other biomolecules. And in this context of a SIDI infection, or Legionella infection, it actually monosylates the ribosome, which is the protein synthesis machinery. And then you might have noticed that it also has this interesting um, shape over here, uh, formed by this blue domain and this pink domain. So if you're um, familiar with the tRNA structure, you'll see that this inverted L shape formed by these two domains actually closely resembles the shape of the tRNA. So we have evidence that this molecular mimicry by these two domains of SIDI actually allows it to interact with the molecules that a normal tRNA would interact with in a cell. So by combining the uh, enzymatic function and the shape mimicry towards the tRNA, SIDI achieves the maximum toxicity towards the whole cell. And it's, uh, the toxicity of SIDI actually compares to uh, the toxicity of ricin, which is one of the most potent toxins known today. And by being so toxic, SIDI, if you, you know, remember the, the analogy that Advite made about cars, is actually breaking an integral part of the cars, or you know, in molecular term, the ribosomes, so, so as to make the cars slow down and then causes the cars to collide. So when you do have a condition where you have a number of these stalled ribosomes undergoing collisions, like I said before, the cell sends an SOS signal. And the SOS signal in this particular case is in the form of a transcription factor called ATF3 that translocates from the cytosol to the nucleus and helps in the transcription of stress-inducible genes that cause cell death. So what exactly happens is that by way of the stress response pathway, cells commit suicide. And Legionella, by secreting this toxin, hijacks or co-ops this particular stress response pathway in order to induce the terminal uh, condition of cell lysis. And this helps a, a replicated bacterium to disseminate into the ex extracellular milieu. Now, there are two fundamental things that we have learned from this study. 
One is the fact that CDI is a cool molecule with a tRNA-like shape and an enzymatic function. And the second more fundamental aspect is that we have utilized a toxin from a bacterium to perturb human cells and understand something basic and physiological in terms of a stress response pathway. And to quote one of my mentors, Shairi, she always says this, bacteria are the best cell biologists.